So people actually want the TV mode to come back in ZZZ. Now, what do I mean by back? The TV mode is still very much in the game, it hasn't gone anywhere. But in terms of the main story and important future storylines from 1.2 onwards, that'll actually be replaced with combat. So instead of having that board or that TV gameplay, you now have the overworld stages. So here's the thing. I want to point out this very comment here. He says, and I quote, people who don't like the TV spoke up when the game launched. Right, as you guys have all been aware of that, right? All the creators and all the players, oh my God, the TV system, you know. People who like the TV mode spoke up when it got pulled back. So as he says, they're not the same group of people. And I can respect that, right? The people who enjoyed it, they kind of felt like they had to hold their tongue because everybody else was, you know, throwing a fit. So if they did enjoy the TV mode, they were just kind of huddle in a corner you know enjoying it because everybody else was screaming about it so there are different people people who liked it are like oh, hey 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 hold on don't you know don't get rid of it wait a minute you know what i mean and people who didn't like it are like yes you know so there's obviously a very split opinion of the two um but it definitely seems like the majority of people didn't enjoy the tv system Hence why the devs have, you know, kind of weaned off of it in recent times. So much so that to the point where they actually put an extra comment themselves, they said, thank you for your feedback, dear proxies. We'll prioritize moving the gameplay and enjoyment of the tile-based TV gameplay system based on the best uploaded suggestions from everyone, rather than completely removing it. So what is happening here is basically a lot of people didn't like it, as I mentioned before. But they dialed it back. But in version 1.2, I want you to take a look at the top right hand corner. I want you to think about those yellow circles as TV mode and the pink circles as combat mode. Those are the little collectibles that you can pick up when you do those missions. So going through the TV, you can pick up the yellow ones and doing the combat, you can get the pink ones for how good you do. So we have 54 over 36 on the first one and you can pick up three for each mission so 54 these are available to pick up which means there's more exploration than there is combat in chapter one chapter two all right now it's a little bit closer 63 over 57 right the possible you can collect like the uh, the full amount all right now we're kind of in between now it's 33 for exploration and 39 for combat Chapter 3, 33 versus 72. All right, now the scales are tipping. And here's chapter 4. Thanks, Fairy. Chapter 4, you can see there are 6 to collect for exploration. And there's 114 for combat. So this is where you can kind of see people's, you know, uh, their, their issue. So people who actually like the TV mode are like, dang, man. I knew you were going to reduce it, but like... Yeah, there's only two missions there so you can see where the, the issue lies there but that's the gameplay that's at least here but the reason why that is is because the story is now combat the difference between the other ones were every time you did the story the story was the tv mode the hollow deep drive the hdd but now because the story is combat i'm not going to show up for spoilers but the story is combat now, so now that's all a part of that too. And that is where people's main problem is, is they feel like the story shouldn't always all be combat. And in that sense, I agree. And here's why. If I'm a ZZZ dev, and I'm trying to figure out how I can make a balance between the people who like the TV system and the people who don't, I would just make it make sense depending on what our adventure brings. So let's go back to 1.1. In 1.1, what happened? Well, it wasn't about Bell and Wise. We had a special episode, and it was about Jane Doe. In this episode, this has nothing to do with Bell and Wise, which means it warrants having the gameplay or the, the combat gameplay only 
or the open world walking around gameplay, the hub world, instead of any HDD combat or <laughs> HDD combat, HDD exploration, right? We are bell and wise. We sit in this chair. We're just normal humans. Where's the chair? Oh, <laughs> we sit at this disk drive, this HDD drive, and we are the guy in the chair or the girl in the chair. We have EOS, our little, our little bang boo, who physically goes with the agents that we guide. But because we are Bell and Wise, we see this TV screen and we guide them through it. That's why it looks the way it does for us from our perspective. So when you have special stuff like Jane Doe's mission, it makes sense to not be in the TV mode because why would we be if it's not us, right? And once again, not to spoil anything, but in the new Outer Ring, uh, Outer Ring level, that could have had us in the HDD drive, technically. But because they made this new change that they announced from before, that's why we did, right? So that's my way of kind of balancing it out is balance it out according to what the story is going to bring, going to break. Now, you know, maybe you have one patch where we don't have TV. Maybe the next patch does. Maybe one patch has a lot of TV. Maybe one has a lot of combat. You know what I mean? So it just depends on what the story is going to bring us. If we go back to figuring out sacrifice and the whole, you know, Perlman situation and Sasha, you know, things like that, maybe we go back to here. You know, I mean, just from face value, we were at the outer ring. You know what I mean? And for the third time, I'm not going to get any spoilers, but uh, yeah, technically we could have been on the HDD drive. But I mean, think about it, right? Like you could just reverse it. You know how you sit down at the computer and you guide agents through and then sometimes you have to fight like in those exploration missions. What if you switch it? What if you're in the hub world? And Bell and Wise get like a, a new laptop that has one of the new AIs on it. As there's four AIs in the game, you get a new AI at some point, and maybe you can open your laptop and control HDD from there. So you're you're in the hub world, or doing combat, and you have to stop real quick, open your laptop, and do the the, the board game. You know what I mean? So like, there's plenty of ideas and ways you can implement it and go back and forth. So. They just got to kind of cook and figure out what you can do to balance it out. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I myself, you know, I was somebody who didn't really want the TV mode to be in so many places when I first started playing the game as well. I was like, man, like this thing is really a core part of it, huh? You know, and it is. But this was beautiful. This was beautiful. This is Arena's story quest. I'm not going to get the details, but this couldn't have been done if we didn't have the tv system the way this was this the way the story was told the tv system the hdd it was great and that's an example of where the tv system could really shine you know what i mean and i also feel like if we get away from story and we talk about events and we talk about just like mini games and stuff like that camellia golden week um you know even hollow zero like stuff like that that could absolutely have a TV system in it. I just felt like the TV system should have been something that remains in the game, but is not the forefront, which in that case was the story mode. But I think overall, Triple Z does want to incorporate it and kind of have it balanced. So going forward, my, my thought process on it is just maybe not have too much of it but maybe not have like two <laughs> you know what i mean like maybe have like six maybe like 10 or something like that maybe split them out throughout the patch or you know what i mean like i said go to the events maybe the events will have it or something like that but there's always going to be two sides and you can never ever satisfy everybody you can't you just can't you can't do it you can't have no TV and have all combat. People are going to get mad. You can't have too much TV and you can't have too much combat. You know what I mean? Like, you just, you're just you never going to satisfy everybody. So, best thing you can do is try and streamline the TV system in a way where it'll always be there. It, it will. Like, no matter what, it'll be there. But they'll cook. Trust me, they'll figure something out. There's smart people over there. And they're just trying to listen to you guys. 
you know what I mean? Like they're, they're taking the feedback from you guys. So if you guys have any great ideas, put that in the survey, put it in a survey, write them a whole paragraph. If you want to like tell them and let them know, cause they're listening to you and they have been listening. People were flipping out about the TV mode. Like, you know, oh my gosh, like, what is this? And there's so much of it. And now it's rip TV mode. You only lasted a couple of months. They need to keep the TV mode. All of a sudden, everyone loved the TV mode, you know? Uh, so people are not keen to seeing it gone. Love it. You know, it's boring because it's bad because it's a flawed design. All kinds of stuff like that, right? And like I said, they'll cook. They'll cook. It will not disappear. It'll just be more fun. So... It's not going anywhere overall, but the, the main point in this video was basically just saying the story people were kind of upset with, right? How, how, you know, not the story being bad, but the story just not being TV, which personally, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I will say I'm okay with that, but I think what they, what they're already doing is good enough where they'll just have TV mode, maybe not be so much of the forefront of everything. Maybe it'll be kind of on the side or over here or over there. You know what I mean? It won't just be in your face all the time, like how it was in 1.0. So it just depends, right? There were some cool puzzles. There were definitely like some D and D, like, you know, Dungeons and Dragons kind of game style there at some point, or like a Final Fantasy kind of mission. Uh, there's like the, you know, beatbox puzzles from Camellia Golden Week. Like there are some fun stuff and I don't mind those at all. The funny little mini games, I don't mind those at all. Plants vs. Zombies was a, was a thing they had. Uh, I'd say the level, but I don't know which one it was called. But yeah, they had some fun stuff, and I don't mind those at all. But personally, I just didn't really like the, all right, we're doing the story, you know, and the TV shows up, and then the, the stopping and the pausing and the, you know, then the dialogue stops you and then it jolts and then it zooms in and fairies like, do, 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 you know what I mean? So once again, that other post on Reddit that was talking about how they could just work on the mode. It's also very valid. Too. So it's all just going to be about balance. So we'll see what happens going forward. But my final message is if you hate the TV mode, you know, I, I think they're probably going to cater to you uh, a little bit more, especially this patch. There'll be, there's a lot of combat for you. If you love the TV mode, hold tight. Hold tight. I'm, I'm sure there'll be exploration things you can do. If you walk around the world and talk to people, you can help them out as well. Uh, if you just walk outside of the, to 6th Street, I'm sure there's somebody who has a blue exclamation point over their head. And that'll be an exploration mission you can do. Um, you know, hit your pause menu and just look through. You can see if there's an exclamation point like grace or this little symbol here. So it's not the end of the world. You know, there is hope for you TV enjoyers. And there is most definitely hope for you combat enjoyers. So and lastly, triple Z devs don't work too hard. All right. Get some sleep. <laughs>